Morning. Welcome to Tier 4. As you might have noticed, my vlog didn't go up last night for you to watch today, this morning at 9am. I'm talking to you from London, which is currently in Tier 4, on the 20th of December. This is a video that I was hoping not to have to make. I was hoping I could just vlog my birthday yesterday, 19th of December. And I was hoping it could be a nice day. Didn't happen. <laughs> um, yesterday's day is a day that I would say is probably to forget. I've never been a lover of my birthdays. And I knew especially this year was going to be extremely low-key. I, I, there was not even a chance to see friends or anything like that. And that was absolutely fine. Because there is a pandemic going, going on. And that was the responsible thing to do. All I wanted was a relatively nice chill day with Andrew and some nice food. And not even that could happen. I'm trying to be as calm as possible while I film this, but inside I have so many emotions and most of them are bad. Right now I'm really struggling and yeah, I really, I really don't know how we're going to get out of this, this by pandemic situation, but also this by mental situation. Uh, obviously I do completely realize how privileged I am even to be able to make this video on a day off when I don't need to worry about whether I'm going to have enough food in my fridge or whether I'm going to be able to spend Christmas indoors. I do completely understand that there is there are plenty more people who need more support and who are in far worse situations than I am. That being said, um, yesterday I, I woke up with the best intentions but all like the day just kept getting worse and worse by the minute and it culminated well not even it reached the peak of sadness um at four something pm when there was the news briefing by the prime minister boris johnson who announced that quite a lot of areas of england were going into tier four um 24 hours ago tier four didn't exist Tier 4 was not meant to happen. Uh, it is hard for everyone. Um, mentally, it has taken a huge toll on me and I'm trying to make sense of that because for me, it really changes nothing. I wasn't able to leave before, I'm not able to leave now. I don't have anybody else in the UK that I want to visit and I was not planning to. I do feel really homesick um, and by homesick I mean I miss my family. So the plan for today. There is no plan. I It's quite late, it's almost 1pm. I had a little cry this morning because yesterday was just, it was just so horrible and I mean I am one of those people that doesn't particularly like their birthday anyway but I think yesterday was probably one of the worst of my life. I can only think of one that was worse than this and it was my, I remember if it was my fifth or sixth birthday and I remember it was the first time I was having a proper birthday with friends from school, whether that was nursery or reception and I had this mini Mickey Mouse cake, they had this little um, icing figurines that were going to go on the cake and then I, I had chicken pox on my birthday so I had spent it in bed. Right, let's crack on with the day. Yesterday, <laughs> just to top it all off, um, Andrew asked me, being my birthday and not being able to do anything, he said, I'm going to treat you to a delivery of whatever food you want. There is this beautiful place that makes handmade ramen not too far away from here. So we ordered on Uber Eats, which we rarely use, but for some reason, that restaurant wasn't available on delivery at that time. 
and our order was collected, it was on its way and then magically it showed that it had been delivered. We called the driver because we were like, the food hasn't been delivered and he said, oh no, I'm coming, I'm coming. Um, he never came. <laughs> so we ended up having really sad sort of open sandwiches with whatever we had left around the house. It was incredibly sad, I had a little meltdown. But we have now reordered um, the food. So we're having a delayed Christmas dinner with ramen on Sunday afternoon, the day after my birthday. Hiya! A couple of hours later, morale is a little bit better. Uh, food came absolutely fine this time. We ate ramen. I think I ate so quickly I didn't even take a picture. It was delicious as usual. Usually I go for the, what's it called? The miso and mushroom ramen, which is vegan I think, and then I add chicken. I know, not exactly the most intuitive choice, but top. Uh, not much has happened. We've watched a couple of episodes of Pose, which is currently on the BBC iPlayer, but it's also on Netflix, which is where we're watching it. And it's all about New York in the 80s, late 80s, and the transgender community, which is actually really interesting. Obviously, it is fictionalised, but it's quite nice that I think we did a little research of the cast, and it's quite nice that the majority of the cast, if not all the cast, is either uh, transgender if they're playing a transgender character or gay if they're playing a gay character. I feel like now there is more thought behind the casting process and trying to cast somebody who can relate to the experience that they're trying to portray on screen or at least is within that community. Obviously that doesn't happen all the time but I think it's improving. Maybe, maybe not. I mean I I don't know. But anyway, I'm now in the bedroom because I need a change of scenery and I'm going to be reading a little bit more of the Starless Sea. I'm still very much on the first few pages. I think I'm in a bit of a reading slump lately. I haven't been feeling very motivated to read. Ooh. My mental health hasn't been great and I feel like I haven't been able to concentrate properly over the past few weeks really. Something else that I have to show you or that I would like to show you is the one gift I got yesterday for my birthday. Obviously my brother mailed me a Christmas slash birthday present a few weeks ago. No, it arrived last week, I think. I, I don't think I showed it on camera. Um, but it's an old collection of Hans Christian Andersen stories from 19... Was it? 1901? With hand drawings and all that. It's so beautiful. I don't know how I managed to find it. But it came without a note, without a return address from the Netherlands. And I was like, who is sending me this? I asked my Dutch friends. And they were like, no, it's not us. And then I remember my brother had told me that I should expect a gift and that was it, which was really sweet. People have asked me what do I want for my birthday and to be honest, this year has really shown me that I don't need many things and the things that I needed throughout the year I sort of bought for myself. Um, so I've asked for one single birthday, like combined birthday and Christmas present. That is something that I would have bought for myself anyway. And I know what it is and it's under the tree and it's absolutely fine. Um, but Andrew bought me a little something anyway for my birthday. So that's um, Dominicana by Angie Cruz. Now this was shortlisted for the Women's Prize. And I think out of all the ones that were shortlisted that, that year, before I read Girl, Woman, Other, it was probably the one book that I was most intrigued to read about. Now I've heard really contrasting reviews, I've heard people who loved this book and people who felt really sort of like unbothered by this book. It's not a bad book in any way but I don't really know what to expect. I wonder in which category of people I'm going to fall in. I don't think it's going to be as good as Girl, Woman, Other. That book was exceptional in my opinion. But uh, uh, yeah, so I've got Dominicana but I don't think I'll be reading this for a while now. Um, but yeah, I can't I can't wait to start reading a little bit more of the Starless Sea. It's just a matter of concentration. I get distracted so quickly. So I've got my laptop down here, and I think I'm going to put one of those ASMR brooms to sort of concentrate a little bit.
it's a couple hours later and as you've seen I started reading in my bedroom and then I moved to the sofa. In between there has been a nap that just sort of happened. I was listening to um, a nice ASMR room with library sounds and I just fell asleep. <laughs> uh, so that meant I read one chapter and then I was sort of like drifting in and out of sleep. So I moved here to the living room and I'm trying to get some reading done. The book has progress but not that much because as you can see I'm still sort of like first 50... Oops, 52 pages. Um, we are slowly discovering a little bit more about the main character, Zachary. Um, I do like that the author has made an effort to come up with a queer main character because I don't see that very often. Um, so I'm quite glad about that, even though I don't know whether that's going to play any role in the story, but it really doesn't need to. I think it's quite nice to know that, you know, there is another female character that is quite close to him. And at first I was thinking, oh my god, is it going to be that sort of young adultish from friends to lovers kind of trope? But I'm glad it's unlikely to be that. With regards to the actual Starless Sea stuff, um, so, so far, the introduction of the book starts with the description of what the B symbol relates to. And now we've also been introduced to the sword uh, symbol as well. Um, with regards to the key, um, I do still have some questions and I wonder whether the key is going to be related to the main character. Because obviously, in this starless sea society which is this we don't know whether it's an alternate universe whether it's something that happens within our universe or something like that we don't know enough at this stage but I part of me wonders whether the main character is connected to the key role in society within the starless sea um, it explains when it comes to the, the story of the sword that throughout their lives People who then end up becoming part of the sword part of society get tested multiple times and that starts from a very young age. So now part of me is thinking maybe when the main character Zachary um, saw that graffiti on the wall when he was just a kid, maybe that was one of his tests. Now we know quite clearly that somebody is following him. Um, somebody is standing outside his dorm, he doesn't notice, somebody was in a pub toilet behind him without him really noticing, somebody also at this pub was sort of staring at him, um, and I do wonder whether this person is, uh, I mean I'm fairly sure this person is connected to a Silas C. I do wonder whether they are part of the uh, Silas C sort of society system, if they are, I don't think they're a B, but I do think they might be part of, this, of the sword society. So they're called the Guardians. Um, and I do wonder whether this, this person following Zack is a Guardian himself. And if so, what is the point? Are they protecting Zack? Are they protecting a book? Or are they protecting a story? Hence, potentially needing to use the sword, which is figurative, but you can imagine what that might mean. Um, to sort of eliminate Zach. So I am really intrigued and I'll keep on reading and I'll keep you posted. A little bit later on. I've done a little bit more reading. Nothing to report. But it is 6 p.m. which means I really need to crack on with the edit if I want to upload this tomorrow. To be honest I've lost a little bit the mojo with the vlogs lately. I've just been feeling so down Yesterday I started the day with the best intentions, I wanted to vlog and then the day just went a little bit shit. So yeah, I'll, um, I'll crack on with the edit. I know it's probably not one of the most entertaining vlogs, but it's going to be vlogmas number 10 and hopefully number 11 and number 12 will be better. Since this vlog is coming out a day later than expected, then I'll try film tomorrow as well or at least I'm gonna have to film two days in a row this week. Tomorrow it's a really busy day it's probably going to be spent pretty much like today with the exception that instead of reading and chilling there's going to be work. I have a really important meeting at noon for two hours and then what else yeah what I'll try film tomorrow is the second half of my autumn reads and I think I'll chuck in what I've read in uh, 
and winter so far which is Donatella's book so it's probably going to be just a little nod to that but there is another four or five books I want to mention so it's going to be some sort of reading wrap up and I know that people like watching them because they are probably among the most watched videos that I upload so hopefully that's a little bit more interesting than seeing me um, fall asleep <laughs> um, thank you very much again for watching do share some words of support if you have any and I will see you very soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.